DJI Mini 4 and Mini 3. DJI claims that either one of them can fly at 35 miles an hour. But in all my flying, often it won't go faster than 10 miles an hour, sometimes even slower. And I'm fully pegged on the, uh, on, on the control. So what's going on? What gives? So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna decipher the mystery on why it's so slow and I am gonna measure the top speed in all the modes that this allows. So hopefully we'll learn something today. All right, so here we go, normal mode. And what I realized is you need some good distance. Uh, this thing accelerates. So we are here at the reservoir uh, to get you some distance and some height from the ground. Okay, here we go. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty two. Okay, so faster going out than coming back here. All right, and now I'm gonna go to cinematic mode and see how it does. Maybe go a little higher. And boom. So cinematic mode is going 13 point 13.4 miles an hour is where it is topping out, not going any faster. So why don't we turn around and get the different wind here. Point to me. And let's go. Thirteen point four miles an hour. So cinematic right there. All right, and now for the big test is oh, cinematic definitely turns slower. So that's where the big difference with cinematic is because turning is where it looks kind of jerky so now we go to sport mode sport mode has no obstacle avoidance so not really the purpose of your DJI Mini 4 with all the sensing and and tracking and here we go Thirty. 31 32 35 34 miles an hour okay now we'll head back oh it turns faster too all right let's go this way 22 33 34 35 35.4 Wow, it is so fast that it takes a while to break. Okay, so that is The speed of uh, The mini 4 and then I'm gonna try a, a new test because this is something that's baffled me because how come on normal mode on my normal flying it's not that fast and I'll show you right here what I do so here I'm gonna go through this alleyway right here uh, and see how fast we can go okay all right ready so it looks like a clear path right go Five miles an hour, six miles an hour, five miles an hour. <laughs> you get the point? So, and that, now when I go to sport mode, so that was about five miles an hour, sport mode, 
goes about I don't know 20 30 it's a huge difference right okay now I'm gonna try another test on normal mode again and uh, say exact same path we'll go a little higher all right you ready Twelve, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty miles an hour. Look at that! What's that wallowing effect? So over twenty miles an hour. So huge difference between uh, the two runs on normal mode, and there is a significant difference here. Can you guys tell what it is? Twenty-two. So the difference is. The elevation at some elevation the ground sensing just refuses to go fast because it is sensing okay so let's try this is about 10 feet high Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13 okay so at some elevation it thinks it's okay and then let's go about six feet high eleven okay so in normal mode the elevation of your drone affects it quite a bit uh, the speed because it is sensing the ground as an obstacle uh, and it has to account for that basically it can only go as fast as you can sense the obstacle so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna snake through for my final my final trick is I'm gonna go low I'll put up a sport mode and I'm gonna go try to go shoot that alley I won't look at the screen I'll just look at the drone uh, so I don't hear anything since there's no obstacle avoidance there you go even better let's see how fast it can go so it is it is jamming so sport mode means it doesn't care about anything the ground or 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 any of that or any of that business and it will go full speed okay pretty good data right so the most important piece of information that you could leave with today is that either one of these drones cannot fly at 35 miles an hour with obstacle sensing turned on so a little bit of a misnomer you know not quite false advertising but you know hey i didn't know that buying into it and i bought the drone because of obstacles sensing and i saw 35 miles an hour put two and two together but then it doesn't work that way so unfortunate it would be better if it was more obvious to the consumer that hey this can only go on the lower mode so with obstacle sensing on 23 miles an hour is the top speed and the other piece of information that's quite important is it won't even hit close to 23 miles an hour if you're not high enough and DJI doesn't really say how high is high so at about four feet high it was flying at about five miles an hour you know 10 feet high maybe 10 miles an hour so I think 20 to 30 feet high then it goes full speed which is 23 miles an hour on normal mode so a lot of little caveats here and there and it would be better if it was explained to us that way it's more obvious because you're trying to have it track you and it's just not keeping up but then when you put it in sport mode it does go 36 mile an hour so with all these caveats the top speed of the DJI on either one is accurate 13 miles an hour on cinematic mode 23 miles an hour in normal mode and then 36 miles an hour in sport mode thanks a ton